Alrighty, we're over here at the Shure booth and uh, we've seen some new ULXD, a ULXD dual receiver and a ULXD quad receiver. And here to tell us all about that is uh, Bill Oakley. Yeah, that's right, Mike. We have uh, two new form factors here at Infocon that we launched this week. As you said, the dual and the quad receiver. So as you obviously can see, the quad is four channels in one rack space. So you have more, uh, less room being taken up in your rack and uh, less weight as well. Uh, both the dual and the quad do feature RF cascade. You can cascade to a second device. That means with a quad, you can have eight channels off of one pair of antennas. And if you're using an 845 five-way distro, that means you can get 40 channels in 11 rack spaces, so nice and compact. Another thing the dual and quad feature is Dante Digital Audio Networking. We have two ports here in the back of the unit for both Dante audio output as well as sure control for your wireless workbench. This allows you to send digital signal to your consoles that have a Dante card, to your amps that have a Dante card, or even all the way to your speakers. So with the equipment that we have today with Dante in the world, you can go from microphone to speaker, completely digital, with the same latency through the whole, set, whole system. <clears throat> on the 4-channel, we have uh, 4XLR outputs. These outputs can also be uh, audio summed, either in pairs of two or the whole unit. If you did the whole unit, a 4-to-1 mix, you can actually have one XLR going to your speaker or whatever and mix using the gain on each individual channel. We also have frequency diversity, body pack frequency diversity, so each pair can be used to for those really mission critical points when you have potential interference. If one of the body pack frequencies or the body pack should die, uh, frequencies are interfered with or the body pack should die, the audio from the good channel or good frequency will automatically be patched to the output of what was interfered with or went down. So this happens seamlessly between the bits in the DSP. So it's very similar to the uh, Axion frequency diversity. It is similar in the application, but the method of which we do it is different. Okay. Here, the only frequency diversity is, is only engaged when you have interference in the pack okay. or uh, the pack should be turned off or the battery should die. Yeah. On Axion, we actually have more of audio uh, on sensing going on within the system. So uh, this doesn't know if your lavalier should, should go bad, for okay. example. So this is just RF uh, signal based? Strictly RF or power gone, exactly. Uh, and uh, the most impressive thing here at the show that people are quite excited about is our high density mode. So currently with a standard UXD that's been shipping since January, you can get 17 transmitters in 6 megahertz, one TV band. With high density mode for those applications up to 30 meters where you don't need to go the 100 meters or so, uh, you can turn that on and you can get 47 frequencies in one TV band. So for example, I just did a scan here at this very busy RF environment here at Infocom, and the top receiver is currently in standard mode, and I did a scan, and we could get 46 channels on the air right now. On the bottom receiver, which is in high density mode, we could get 379 transmitters on the air right now. So in those really uh, environments where the, where the spectrum is very limited, but yet your uh, range is also limited up to 30 meters, and you don't need to go beyond that, high density modes allow you to get more frequencies in a very tight environment. Yeah. And what's the tuning uh, range of the receivers? Uh, all of our receivers in the US bands are 64 megahertz. Okay. Uh, so pretty wide. Uh, and that feature, high density, by the way, is a, f a free upgrade to uh, anyone who owns a single right now, firmware upgrade. And uh, audio is not affected at all. Encryption still is rock solid. And uh, it's a really great, robust uh, product now for the for limited spectrum. Awesome. So pricing and availability. Uh, the availability is basically late this summer. Uh, pricing on the uh, dual receiver only is uh, 3131 MSRP and the pricing on the quad receiver only is $62.69. Uh, for more information, contact your local dealer to get more of, a, of what their, their price will be. Because right. that's just the receiver, and then the standard ULXD body packs and, and handhelds work as well. Yeah, that's just the receiver. There are systems available with, with the transmitters of whatever uh, fashion you like. Um, and uh, you know the, the line is, is, is expanded. Cool. We're, quite, we're quite proud of it. All right. Cool, and you just won uh, Best in Show as well, I heard. We just got Best in Show this morning. Uh, this is our uh, third and final day here at Infocom, and. Uh, we're quite excited, and if you had seen how the booth was the past couple of days, uh, yeah, you'd yeah, understand. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. So congratulations on that, Thank and uh, some really good stuff again, expanding the ULXD line uh, for uh, more options in wireless as the RF landscape continues to get cluttered up. We have some more options to uh, help us overcome that. So good stuff from Shure.